So I have two updates. Uh, first of all, the most important is I find a solution to uh, the camera roll. So let me see. So as you see, if I start starts to circle with the mouse, the whole scene rolls or tilts. as this and uh, I find this solution here in gamedev.stackexchange.com the guy is asking Peach Joe in circle causes undesired tilt mm, okay and the solution comes from from this guy DM Gregory so thank you dm gregory you are using the previous previous value of up vector to update the right vector and the up vector itself that means any small deviation from the vertical will tend to accumulate in the up vector and snowball over repeated updates instead you can define right in in reference to the global up vector so this error can't accumulate uh, so let's implement this in my camera class just here in the uh, camera right change this self dot camera up uh, self dot camera up to a vector uh, vector free and 0 on the x 1 on the y and 0 0 so okay so now if I run it and I'm circling with the mouse No more roll appears. I'm happy that I find this solution. So once again, thank you, uh, Mr. DM Gregory. And the second update is, I'm just simplified a little bit uh, the code. So in the previous previous video, uh, which the code from it is here. So I created three shaders: one for one for the cube, one for the monkey, and one for the monster. And uh, now I'm. I'm only creating one shader, called it just a generic shader. And uh, as you see in the previous video, in the previous code, I had to use use the program cube shader get the model view projection location from the, from the cube shader set the. Uh, model matrix and projection matrix then uh, turn off the program then starts o start over with the monkey shader turn off the master shader and turn off and in the drawing so in the uh, loop I needed to re-enable those shaders every time I wanted to draw uh, uh, the cube then disable that shader and re-enable the uh, monkey shader disable that shader re-enable the master shader and disable disabling this shader updating the view and uh, in my new code i rearrange this so i'm using only one shader and I'm only 
using the, the generic shader once. So turning it on and I don't need to turn it off and on and off. Getting the view, model view uh, projection location from the generic shader and in the drawing code itself I'm just binding the cube VAO then binding the, its texture uh, setting its uh, model to world tra uh, translation unbind the VAO, the cube VAO then do this for the monkey, for the master so it's much more simpler and, uh, and the result is the same So let's say if I want to rotate only the cube, I can do this by, let me see, rotation, let's say Y will be equal to matrix with a capital M matrix 44 but uh, from Y rotation from underscore Y underscore rotation rotation and just give it the glfw that get time yes um, let's multiply this by 0 0.5 and of course we need to import the matrix 44 from peer yes matrix 44 and now uh, where I am yeah and now I'm only just going to rotate the cube on the Y So we can do transformations, translation, rotation, scaling separately. And uh, of course it has this drawback that uh, let's say I'm going to change something in the fragment shader. I'm going to multiply the whole color with a vector uh, 4 and just give it one red zero and zero and for the transparency one so now it will color everything to red because everything uses the same shader every object uses the same shader unlike in the previous code uh, video number 9 if I want to color just the, let's say the cube I can I can do this for the cube shader so I'm gonna copy this from the generic times vector 4 uh, so now I'm gonna switch it to video number 9 and only the cube is painted or colored to red so uh, if you want you can use different shaders for all the models but um, I think it's if you don't want to, to color or, or make something for for its vertices or something like this you can use only one shader 